What is going on YouTube? I finally got some workout footage. I went to my other gym, Anytime Fitness, to where uh, I just kind of just put the camera down and recorded and no one gave me any problems. So uh, while I'm looking over here, I'll take you through my workout and uh, let's get started. All right, so uh, this is my upper power day. This is where I work with uh, most of my pushing movements and I do a little bit of pulling movements as well. Um, I start off with OHP. I've been running Jim Wendler's 531. Uh, the goal today was to work up to a 115 for a single. Uh, the reason I started out with Jim Miller's 531 is not only my coach is telling me to do this, but I also want to promote strength gains. I'm in a little bit of a deficit and I want to trim a little bit more fat before the summertime comes around. Um, just a little something to keep me going and to make sure my strength is still staying high. Um, so I think when I um, went up to 115, I got it for five reps. I don't have this sheet in front of me or I, um, I would have it, have it in front of me and let you know. But um, it felt really good. I've been trying to really focus on activating my glutes and my feet and position them in a way to where I'm able to press the weight in the best way that I can um, and to not feel comfortable. First one's always a little bit <laughs> rough uh, as I'm looking at it right here, but it's it went really, really smooth. Uh, each week I've been doing this, it's been going really, really well. Uh, I really have no complaints over it. Um, and then on the other day, um, which complements this, which is an upper hypertrophy day, I start out with bench press on a 5-3-1, which I'll have uh, in the next video for you guys. But here is uh, 115. Uh, I think I got five reps, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then and when I recompute my numbers, uh, I'll make sure that I'm pushing my weight for even more, So which works out for the best. Uh, uh, then I moved on to a bench press for a 5x5. Five five. It's working with around 160 in weight. Uh, just to focus on my form, um, I really want to get the movement down. The bar path, um, I'm a little concerned about. And I notice when I push up, my left hand is lagging a little bit. So something I've been trying to work on. But I've been trying to really get my the bow in my back uh, really solid. Um, for that reason, I mean I can have a good stable uh, area that I'm playing to push off of. Uh, keeping my body steady, keeping it firm. I'm going into each lift with the same mentality that I'm just going to push the weight. It doesn't matter if it's 175, 185, or if it's 135. I want to keep that motion exactly the same for each each set of bench or whatever. Even if it's a warm up, I want to get in position each time so that it becomes natural. As you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get my shoulder blades right into the back of the pad. Uh, this setup is a little weird, and what I don't like about the bar is it's a little thin, and the other bar they have is not very good as well. Um, but it spins sometimes, so it kind of throws your hands off. So trying to keep your hands very sturdy uh, while you're there makes it a challenge. But I was very happy uh, with this 5x5. Five five. I thought I did really, really well. Um, but like I said, trying to focus on form, keeping my shoulder blades back, retracting the scapula, keeping my arms steady as well. I'm um, trying to prevent, you know, from going up from like a side like that or like this. Um, it really, it really, um, trying to prevent that and trying to focus on the form. I've noticed I've seen better results. I get a better contraction in my chest, which keeps which keeps me more motivated to keep going in the gym. Um, without without having good workouts, I think something we lose focus of is losing that losing that pump. I mean, it's great to have, you know, but you want to have a satisfying workout. So it could be in the form, in the way of you know, increasing your form, making it better, or getting a good pump. Um, but yeah, I thought I did really well. As you can see, I celebrated right there. Uh, it was a good five by five, I have to say. So each week I've been upping that five by five to complement each movement. Here I did another 5x5 five five for uh, incline bench press. Um, I started out with the 60s or the 65s if I'm not mistaken. Five reps, kept it simple, and then um, kept on progressively increasing the weight until I hit around 80 pounds, uh, which you'll see I believe in the next one, uh, where I backed off. I, I knew I wasn't controlling the weight very well, so I you know, took my head and ego out of the game and said, hey, back off, you know, just focus on the weight focus on the movement. Um, I notice when I focus more on the movement in and of itself, I get a better a better feel for the weight instead of trying to just push it just to push it. I want to have the purpose of pushing the weight for, for what it is. I don't want to keep um, just going in there, you know, sloppily grinding out, you know, with 90 pound dumbbells for a five by five on an incline and just keeping it going. But yeah, I was really, really satisfied with it. Even though I dropped the weight, I thought it went really, really well. Um, a little trick there when you want to release the dumbbells, you kind of come back down onto your knees, get a little momentum, uh, kind of helps you push push it along all, all the way through instead of possibly, you know, laying, laying it back and hurting something in your shoulder, trying to take your shoulder out of the equation because a lot of injuries happen uh, when, you know, you let go of the dumbbells wrong. Um, even, in, even when you're pressing the movement, even when you're pressing the weight, you may mess something up in your shoulder. Um, so you always want to be safe and keep it simple. 
Um, so yeah, I did a five by five on incline bench press, and then uh, I don't have any footage for the other stuff, but what I did was I did a um, vertical pull down for a five by five, increasing the weight each time, and then also a chest supported row, um, but I didn't actually have the, this gym doesn't have a chest supported row, so what I used was just a low row. Um, it really kept my form very strict, feeling the contraction in, in my lats and in my middle back, um, which is something I really want to bring up. And then I did um, a bicep exercise of my choice. I did, uh, uh, I call them skull crushers or cable curls, where you go like this with the cables. And uh, I kept the uh, grips off for a little bit. And then I did a tricep extension. So keeping it simple, keeping it good. Um, that's gonna wrap up this commentary. Um, I got my next video will be a, a lower power day. Um, so you'll see um, some of the weights I work with with that. So stick around for the next video. It should be up very, very soon. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you want to follow me on social media, it is at Nick Zelfine, at N-I-C-K-Z-E-L-F-I-N-E. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. Very active on Instagram. I'm trying to bring up my Twitter game. But give me a follow. Let me know what you think. And I'll uh, be looking for you guys in the next video. Have a good day. See you later. Peace.